Digital Holidays! Ho, 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 ho. Ooh, welcome back to... <laughs> welcome back to... Yeah! yeah. <laughs> um, we are... Uh, we're going to be doing... Youth of the Nation. Yeah, we are going to be moving on to the next step. If you are just tuning in now, you go... And you go, what is this? Uh, see the previous episode. Um, so... We're going to move right into it. There's one thing, except for before we move right into it, uh, that I wanted to cover real quick that I didn't mention um, in the last episode. Okay. Uh, is, the, is the microphone, does it like it when I... Okay. It's, dude, does it feels it, really low. Does it does like it, it when you do that? Yeah, it looks really low. No, it doesn't look really low. Oh! Did we have the microphone like that the whole time? No. I don't think so. Because the, the think, thing looked normal. Yeah, I think I adjusted and it and it started to fall and I caught it and I put it back up. I okay. think that's when that happened. I hope so. I'm pretty sure. I hope it that... did look normal. Okay. Yeah, right? it did. Right. I feel like it. I don't. I hope so. It was fine. Because there were times where I would burp it's... and I would see a big spike. Anyways, we do this a lot. We yeah. know what we're doing. Exactly, guys. We don't we're do professionals. Wrong. Um, Hardly ever. So one thing is, when I was talking about the movement, I kind of glossed right over it and I totally forgot. Um, Dude, you can't. Be a glossy teacher. Yeah. I'm going to be a glossy student. Mounting. Glossy... Mounting. So you did it at one point. I did. Yeah. I did it right there. That's, that is a big thing that you can do in this. Okay. That you, like I said, you can't do in any other zombies. But here's the thing. That mounting is mondo useful. And I will show you once we open up the map a little bit uh, how useful it can be. But there is another thing that actually, because of that mounting, again, this is the first time that you can do this in zombies, something that you could do in previous uh, Call of Duties, previous Black Ops games and stuff, where you have a slide, mm. um, you can do what's called ledge sliding, where you, uh, whoa, oh god, whoa. Uh, that's that was incorrect, where you, uh, I can't really do it up here, <sighs> because you have to be, basically, yeah, you have to be uh, uh, sprinting. Okay. And then you jump and land on the ledge and slide uh, as you land on the ledge. And you will keep your slide momentum, but through the air. It's really useful what? when you know how to use it. Yeah. Um, yeah. That, I can't really do it because I'm, I can't get a sprint going up there. But anyways, um, that's not the point. I just wanted to point out that uh, the mantle is super useful it's just not very easy for me to demonstrate it in this room but i don't want to open up the rest of the map yet so what well, here's what we're going to move on to i'm going to hand the controller over to zan i have the power and uh then we're on to step number three you can unpause it we're on to step number three number three maximizing points so <coughs> in the last episode we learned we got familiar with movement. That's step one. Step two, we learned how the AI worked. And I mentioned in... Whoops. You clap your clip. And I mentioned in the AI, with the AI, that there's other AI, not just the zombies. There's also hounds. Uh, uh, hellhounds, traditionally in this, they're plague hounds. Um, and there's also uh, the uh, uh, boss zombies or heavy zombies, whatever you want to call them, in each map. Um, and those, again, we'll get to those. I just want you to be aware that they exist. Okay. Um, but unfortunately, it takes a little bit to actually get one to show up. Information so. filed. Um, but we're, we're on to maximizing points. So here's what I want you to do. Very, very simple way to understand this. In every Zombies, except for, I think, Black Ops 4, starting with Black Ops 4, I believe, when you shot a zombie, you would get 10 points for hitting a zombie with a bullet. So here's okay. what I want you to do. I, I want you to pick one of those zombies. One of them is wearing a uniform Who's and a hat. Bitch? And the other one isn't wearing a uniform and a hat. Remember bitch? that. Which one do you choose? No uniform or No hat. uniform or hat. Okay. I want you to shoot him once. You have 960 points. Okay. Shoot him. How many points do you have? Uh, do you know where that is? I see it down there, yeah. Yeah. 960. Exactly. You didn't get any points. That sucks. So you only get points for killing a zombie. Ah. But wh wh what matters is the way you kill the zombie. So that zombie, I want you to kill him with bullets, but do not shoot him in the head. Okay. 
Okay. How many points did you get? You had uh, 960. Now you have 1,050. I got hold on, 90 points. You got 90 points. Now, him, I want you to kill him with bullets, but I want you to do it with a headshot. Okay. What's in this game called a critical. How many did you get? 165, I had 1060? 1050. 1050? Mm -hmm. So I got 115? Yes, you got 115 points. It also tells you, we'll get to what those are in a second. I don't know if you know what that thing is. Um, it's definitely not just a paperweight. Um, <laughs> uh, but the, uh, well, that, I was being facetious. Far I know that you know that you know what a far grenade is. Garnand. Okay. Um, we, we all know what a far grenade is. <laughs> um, but so you can actually do this if you kill another zombie, shoot him in the head, and and pay attention next to uh, like you see those po those see that yeah. it said one fifteen yes. critical kill. So that's how many points you're getting for that kill, right? Okay. Yes. Now now we're gonna do one other thing. You have one thousand two hundred eighty points. I want you to kill a zombie, but this time I want you to do it with a melee. Okie dokie. So, 13, see that? How many points did you get? I had 1,200. Mm -hmm. it, it showed you on the side there. I didn't look. So do it again. <laughs> do it again and see. 115? 115. So you got 115 points. And we can also, we can check out that math as well just to make sure if you really want to. Same as a headshot? Yeah, same as a headshot. Um, So... Here's the thing. Here's the thing that's important about it. Um, if you get a knife kill, you're getting the same amount of points that you would get if you got a headshot kill. Which means that headshot kills are just as important as getting melee kills. And melee kills are just as important as getting headshot kills. But there's a little bit of a difference between those two. Even though they both give you the same amount of points... They vary in how difficult they are to do, right? Okay. So when you're on round one, how many melees does it take to kill a zombie? Just one. Yeah, just one, right? So that means it's easier for you to run around and melee zombies than it is for you to run around and get headshots on those zombies, right? Yes. Well, especially considering you're not using ammo when you do it. Yes. So you're conserving ammo. Which is not super important, but you know what? It what really it depends on what game it is. In this, okay. it's not super important. Okay. The reason it's not super important, I'll get to in a little bit. But um, so what you want to do? This this is really simple because it, it is so much more complicated in previous zombies games because you got points for shooting them. Previously, you would like shoot them in the leg a certain amount of times and then knife kill them to maximize your points. Uh -huh. Now, all you need to do is make sure that. As many zombies as you can, you are either getting a headshot kill, a critical kill, or you are getting a melee kill. How do you ensure that you're always getting one of those two? How do I... This, this sounds like a, cr a trick question yeah, now that I'm asking it. Sounds like the answer is do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, let, me, let me rephrase it. Um, what kind of strategy do you think you should employ... Well, in order to guarantee that you're maximizing points, um, and the answer is not just make sure I'm getting melee kills or headshot kills. Like, what would you actively do? Show me how. I want you to show me kill all these zombies and make sure you're getting the most amount of points possible. Okay. It's party time. Point bags. So you're choosing. To melee all of them. Yes. And why? Um, it's easier right now. Because? Because it's an early round. Exactly. Really Hold on. Don't, don't pick that up. I this is a perfect opportunity. Those will expire when they're sitting there. The round, round three, none of the zombies are here yet. Right? You want to maximize the time that you have the double points. So it blinks. Once it starts blinking really fast, right... Now, pick it up. That's when you want to pick it up. Because it was about to disappear. Now, you have the longest duration of double points. Okay. And you can use it the most because the zombies have actually spawned in. Gotcha. If you had picked it up the second the other one dropped it, it would have already expired. Uh. And you wouldn't have gotten to use it at all because you had to wait for all the zombies to spawn in. Um, So, 
on round two to what you were saying, it was still easier to kill all the zombies because it took one or it took two melees, you know, not quite one, but still it wasn't that many. Right. But when we're talking about round five, it's not going to take two melees. It's going to take three and there's going to be more zombies and they're going to be faster and they're going to be more aggressive. Right. So the answer, what do you think the answer is? For maximizing points on round five compared to round one. That's where you go with them headshots. Wrong. <laughs> and this is what, what I was talking about at the end of the last episode. Pause it. And then quit match. So we're gonna we're gonna go over something that is um again, this is like a strategy that is specific to Cold War, but it's something that it will stay regardless of what zombies game you're playing. It's just how you go about it that changes. All right. So in this, instead of having a knife, you have the gun butt, right? It functions similarly, but it doesn't function exactly the same. Um, And that's because if you gun butt an enemy, what is this skin? Is this something that I got? I don't know. I'm confused. Don't ask me. This isn't even... I didn't... I just turned this on. I haven't played on this account since we... we go over to ch- operators real quick. I want to see. And then click on that. Nato. And then triangle. Oh, it won't even let you. won't even let me. I can't... Oh, what the fuck? What, CDL? Oh, what the fuck? Well, here's Zayna. Zayna? Say hello. What, what is Zayna? She Dana. wasn't there. Here's an Operator point. pack. What uh, the fuck? Oh, jeez. Dude, did we just come up? Did we just figure some shit out? Look, you got bark. Hold on. Don't go through all of them. Okay. I was trying I'm to just, get the ZDL. No, no, no. I'm just... Bulldozer... Dude. What the fuck? Okay, whatever. Back out. We're recording this on the 11th. So, season one hasn't come out yet. So, I just want to point that out. Um. Anyways, so... Uh, here's, here's the deal. When you, um, when you melee with your gun, you're doing a gun butt and that doesn't do as much damage as, um, uh, like the knife does. Sure. What they decided to do in this, instead of having you knife the zombies, you know, knife on insta kill, whatever, right? Like instead of doing that, they have the gun butt, but, <laughs> Um, because they separated the knife and the gun, but now they can make the knife more powerful. So go into loadout, hit R1, and then create a class, and then custom two, uh, click on that, and we're going to change the MP5 to, uh, R1, 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 all pretty much all the way over, I think, uh, melee to the knife. Okay. Then. So hit that. And then Frost Blast, we're going to change that to Ether Shroud as well. So uh, the middle one, Ether Shroud, yeah. Um, so back out. Is all I got? Yep. <laughs> and then go to Lobby. <laughs> okay. And then hit Play. And then when it asks you to choose your class, this time you're going to choose Custom 2, the one with the knife. Right on. So the reason we're doing this, yeah, that you were on it. Um, the reason we're doing this is because we're learning about maximizing points. In previous zombie games, the strategy would be get the Bowie knife as fast as possible. In those games, it was something that you would buy off the wall. In this, there is a Bowie knife, but that's not how you get it. Instead, you just spawn in with a knife. Now, there's going to be two things that I taught you that are going to come into play. The first one is going to be that this knife is a one-hit kill... Up to, I believe, and including round 10. Oh my goodness. So up until round 10, you can continue to just knife the zombies to make sure that you're maximizing your points. The second thing was the thing I taught you at the end of the last episode. Walk up to one of those zombies and and hit the melee attack. No, just walk up to him and hit the melee. He lunges. Mm -hmm. He he stabs them. Mm -hmm. Run up, run up, and hit that melee, and just keep pressing forward. 
well, if, if it wouldn't have targeted the guy beside him. There you go. Oh, See how you lost control shit. of your character? Yes. And it was like, oh, no, like you're going to get swiped a bunch. This is why it was why I taught you how to do the backup and swipe. Because now you can do that and kill the zombies. It has a really long range, like way longer than you'd think. Um, and you can do that and maintain full control over your character. And that's what I was saying was like, it wasn't really important with the gun butt, but for the knife, holy shit, this is how you knife, right? This is most importantly how you get to round 10 only using the knife. It does sound important. Yeah. And you're going to be swimming in points if you do that. So what the exercise that we're going to do right now is I want you to get to round five or six with just the knife. Okay. And, and yeah, and you can practice doing that uh, backwards thing, you know, because it's, it's something that, like, it becomes second nature. You become, like, really good at it as you sort of are able to immediately gauge your distance and what, which animation he's going to use. Um, but right now, I can imagine that it's probably, like, going to feel very inconsistent. Um, but if you just keep at it, you will, pr I, I think, pretty swiftly learn you know exactly how to get it to, to work and it's all about gauging that distance right so was i right by the way does the do the triggers feel a little weird um, like they they push they're pushing back a little bit when you get to the bottom yeah that's because yeah. for some reason in this game on the ps5 if you don't if you turn the trigger effect off in a system level they just become normal triggers like on the ps4 they don't have any resistance at all except for just the spring uh if you yeah there you go if you do it in the game instead and you don't do it on a system level, for some reason it keeps a little bit of resistance, but only at the bottom of the trigger. So once you've actually pressed it down all the way. And you'll feel it almost like this weird yeah, it feels, squish. Yeah, it feels like there's like something stuck in there. Yeah, and it only does it in Call of Duty. It doesn't do it on all, all games. It's just in this. So whenever I play this, I have to turn the trigger stuff off, but I have to do it on the system, uh, in the system settings because that still bothers me in the game. Mm. Um, even though you don't actually have to put the, push the trigger down that far. it's I do anyways m most of the time unless I'm like firing off a single shot gun, which is not very often. So. Whoa, that range is fucking crazy. Right? Well, it's not that crazy. <laughs> and there's a double point, so you can pick that up. It's like don't kill any zombies until you can pick up the double points so you can maximize the amount of points you get. And you will always get some kind of drops you're but you know if you do this to round 10 you're gonna get many drops during that time yeah. and it, it's almost guaranteed that at, at some point one of them is gonna be a double points maybe not to round five but um but to round 10 most definitely um what you were talking about like with uh uh the or what you did when you tried to do the um the easter egg at the beginning of this uh, you it spawned in a nuke and you said oh I don't want to pick that up because it's going to kill the last guy you're absolutely right except for right now you're just trying to progress the rounds right Yeah. so would you if a nuke spawned let's say you still have half the zombies left to kill if a nuke spawned would you pick it up yes no no. you want to kill as many zombies as possible uh, before you pick up the nuke because the nuke gives you 400 points I see. so if there's four zombies left to kill, might as well kill the zombies, get the points for killing the zombies, and then get the 400 points even though it didn't actually kill anything. You know, nice. I think that was a nuke down there, actually. Ah, yeah. oh, fuck. So, and that's fine. There it is. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, because, uh, you know, we're just learning. But, um, but that's kind of like, again, when we're talking about maximizing points, we're talking yeah. about making sure that you are getting as, you're, you're not, skimping out on anything you are scrounging up as much points as possible as many points as possible you're being as frugal with those points as possible um which is another thing that we'll we'll talk to but or talk about but I, i'm gonna save it until we get to a different step um but that's how to spend those points responsibly basically um which is a weird thing to say for this but you know that's the way it works <laughs> um so the once you have gotten like you're you it seems like you're pretty comfortable with this you have an idea of how to do it you're 
you're getting enough of the those types of swipe kills um, that it, it looks like you're at least comfortable enough. Yeah. So when we're talking about maximizing points, um, it's not just about killing zombies. As I said, it's maximizing double points time as well as insta-kill, right? If you're on round 15 or something uh, and you got an insta-kill, you might as well knife some zombies here or there, right? Like, you're not going to knife all of them on round 15 unless you know exactly what you're doing. Um, but if you, you know, if there's not a whole lot of zombies around, why not, right? Why not knife one or two of them? That pick up right there, pick that up. You want that, you want to pick that up, like, priority number one when we're talking about maximizing points mm -hmm. because that just it's a bonus points it just gave you free points you know there's no need to wait or anything like that um so then uh with an insta kill it's you're not really gaining much out of using the insta kill on low rounds if you're using the knife but if you're not on low rounds then make sure you're shooting them in the head you know um, now I will say pause it really quickly because I think, uh, go into settings, um, and then go down, uh, to aim assist. Yeah. Turn target aim assist. Turn that off up. Yeah. And then ADS aim assist. Turn that off as well. We're going to turn those off and I will explain that. And I should have explained that before, but, um, but I don't want to lose my train of thought for, for maximizing points so you back out um so uh yeah with power-ups you know it's also important a carpenter uh do you know what that is carpenter that. no that, oh that's it has the something hammer. to do with the it's the hammer and i'm assuming it has something to do with the windows yes it boards up all the windows that can be boarded up Sweet. so it gives you another i think 150 points just because so it's like see there's an insta kill you're not going to use it like you're not gonna really be able to use it because all your yeah uh, or Can all your guns. Kills anyway. Yeah, pick it up anyways. But um, your uh knife is is oh my God. killing in one hit anyways. So oh see. Oh my God. So this would probably be about the time that I would say for you for how comfortable you are that I would say, you know, maybe getting a new weapon would be a good priority. Here's the thing though, you have ten thousand points now. Hell yeah. You started with 500, now you've got 10,000, and you've got all this scrap, and your your ether shroud is built up. You're, re you're like, in a good place to get actually started on doing whatever it is you wanted to do in this particular game, right? If you wanted to go to high rounds, or if you wanted to complete a challenge when they introduce challenges, like the, the daily and, I'm sure, weekly challenges. Um, if you wanted to complete the Easter egg, like, this is a good setup. And it's consistent. It's going to be the same basically every time you do it. You're going to end up with the same amount of points. Now, I want you to leave a zombie. I don't want you to kill all of them. Okay. Um, because there's another thing I'm going to show you with, with maximizing points. Okay. And now these zombies are they're going to be running at you. So there's a max ammo. Again, it doesn't do anything for you because you only have the knife. But um, but you can pick it up anyways. Whoa! Freaking freaking out. Textures. So uh, the yeah, it's it's him. So the the doors. There's two different doors. There's a door right there, a green door, and then there's that pink door uh, over here that has the rabbit on it. Yes. Um. So when you did the Easter egg for the first time or when you tried it for the first time at the beginning of this, you went in the pink rabbit door. Yes. Um, and then you said, there's nothing more for me to do here, and you backed out. That's not true. Um, there, just so you're aware, and again, this is something that I'll cover a little bit later, um, but uh, in, this, in every Call of Duty, or in every Zombies map pretty much, there's always two exits. There's always two doors, and they're always going to lead you to where you need to go. So you didn't need to go out back out here and open the green door. You could have just kept going. You just didn't see where the door was. I see. But we do want to go through the green door because that's the path that is going to be the best for us. So you want to go through that green door. Green door, here I come. And then, and keep in mind, that was 500 points, right? Yes. So... You want to know ahead of time. You want to get familiar with how expensive the doors are. 
Because now that you've left this area, when you go back to the spawn, let's say that you you were training in the spawn, right? You go back to the spawn, you go in there. Now guess what? What? Now there's another place for them to come through. Is it that door? It's that door. So you just opened it up. Let's say you didn't have enough points to open up the next door. It was basically useless for you to open that door then. Because I just gave a new spawn. Exactly. So you want to have enough points ahead of time before you start opening the doors to get where you're going. So go up the stairs and then open that. And this doesn't hurt you, by the way. You don't have to worry okay, about good. Um, He does. Yeah. Um, and then this is the room that we want to be in. There's another aspect to maximizing points, and that is, again, scrounging up any fucking points you could possibly get your hands on. And one of the easiest ways to do that, to get points, is the perk machines. Every single perk machine will do this, except for in this map, for some reason, uh, Quick Revive, it won't let you do this, but, um, yeah, go and get the zombie away, and then lay down in front of that machine. And you have 10,845 points. And then run up to it, and then don't, like, uh, slide. Just lay down in front of it. Go prone. Boom. You what just got fuck? 100 points. Why? Loose change. So this is something that has been in the game what? since... Uh, yep, since uh, Doris, um in World at War. It was supposed to be the equivalent of, like, finding a quarter underneath the machine. Yeah. So you'd get 25 points from doing it. Not every zombies game does it. Not every map does it. But what they've done here is instead of t 25 points, now you get 100 points for doing it, number one. And number two, uh, that also works with double points. So you'll get 200 points instead. Mm. Open that door uh, that that arrow is pointing at. So this one with the X right there, that denotes that it's something you can blow up. And those arrows will point you towards power, by the way. So, um, And then this is a new area. Uh, and then go around... Um, yeah, towards the box and then down there. See that jug machine? Yes. What are you going to do? I'm going to get the loose change. Exactly. So, boom, now you just got 200 points. That's almost two zombie kills just for laying down, right? That could be... It seems like it's nothing right now because you got 10,000 points. Yeah. That could be the difference between you being able to open the next door or not or you being able to pack a punch your weapon, right? Yeah. Like, it matters. And there are five perk machines on the map, I believe. So, yeah, so it's like... Or six or something. So it's like that is really handy information, right? And a good way to maximize points. Um, the other thing would be the route that you take, right? So go back to um, uh, go back to spawn, and then I'm going to show you something. Yeah, that's downstairs. And the, 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 because you don't have power on, there's there's a door that can't be opened. But yeah, back to spawn. Now go back through the other door, the pink one. Okay. So that was 500. And then up the stairs, that's how you get to the next spot. So 750. Do it? Yeah. So that's what? 1,250. One, 1, and then to your left, right there. That's the wall that you were missing. Uh, so open that. So this is 2,000. Oh, shit. Oh. Not today, motherfucker. There you go. This is 2,250. And oh. then go go down there. Down here? Right, yeah. So there's a perk machine right there. Um, This is the one I was talking about. For some reason, you can't lay down in front of it. So, you, because of the water, I think. So, you can't get the 100 points. Look across that fence right there. This fence. You see that area right over there? Yeah. That's where you just were, right? I just was. So, you're in the same... uh, Like, you are the same distance away from your objective, in this case, power, as you were before, right? But you just wasted 2,250 points. Gotcha. And you also didn't get, if you had just gone this way you didn't get the extra 200 points that you would have gotten from those two perk machines. So you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, maximizing points isn't just about killing zombies. Maximizing points is about knowing when and how to use power-ups. Maximizing points is about knowing what route to take and knowing how much you need to spend on it ahead of time. And maximizing points is also knowing those little things, like 
being able to get a hundred points from a perk machine or, you know, whatever. And there's plenty of shit like that. Um, before we end this episode, there's one other thing that I wanted to go over. Uh, and that was with the mantling. Now that we, we have a little bit of the map opening up, opened up. Um, so go back to here. Let me see it. Pause it. And then, uh, let's see this. And then I'm just gonna, since I know where I'm going. Yeah, like I said, these arrows, these arrows tell you where oh. power is. And there will always, it, it, this is pretty much, again, universal, except for with Noct Durantoten on uh, on World at War. As soon as Verruckt added power, they pretty much always have arrows that tell you where power is. Usually they're red, not, um, yeah, see this door can't be opened unless you turn on power. Gotcha. Um, not they're usually not purple; they're red. But whatever, same shit. Um, so this is why I'm ta why I was talking about the mantling, and why I was like, oh yeah, the mantling in this is super important because look at this shit. Watch this shit. Oh, whoops! I can't do it there. Uh, there we go. Whoa! It's like look at how high I can mantle. You know, like I I don't. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't think I can do that, but I can do that one. Yeah. Wow. It's like this is this is some next level zombies shit. Now we're we're now we can do that kind of stuff. Whereas previously it's like no way, dude, you can't do that. Um, and so mantling is like a really good way to get out of a jam. Um, because now let's say that I was training a bunch of zombies and oh oh there's oh now oh now I'm cornered oh no I can just jump up here you know. Um, there's another spot that I'm actually going to show you as well, because again, I just kind of want to drive the point home, um, that is further down. And, and again, this kind of, so that where you were, there's a wall in that swampy area right there that, that leads you to here. So again, it's the exact same place, exact same number of doors, but you don't want to open doors that are unnecessary to open until you need to open them, right? Same with this. There's a door here. There's a door here. Which one are you going to do? It depends on what you're trying to accomplish. And if you're trying to maximize points, both of them are basically going to be the same because they both have a perk machine that allows you to get 150 points and they both, um, you know, lead to the same spot. Uh, but this spot right here is what I want to show you. This is a good training spot if you have this door shut. Um, mm -hmm. And what a lot of people will do is they'll go up here and then the zombies will flood them from either side. And then you just mantle over this railing. Uh, and it's like, the zombies won't jump over the railing, but you can jump over the railing. Uh, and it's like, that is super useful, dude. Imagine if you were coming from this direction and there's zombies coming, you know, coming at you from both of these uh, uh, spots. And it's like, oh my God, you know, they're coming down from both sides of the stairs. You just fucking jump up there. And it's like, fuck you guys. I don't need you, you know. I don't need you. Yeah. Um... But I, so, because I know what I'm doing with, like, the knife, I will traditionally go to about round 10, uh, knifing, because I don't, I don't really need to, uh, like, worry about dying, you know? Um, and I theoretically could, I, could, I think I got to round 25 or 30 with just the knife while I was trying to level it up. Um, but obviously I had to, like, pack a punch the knife. Um, because it was not killing things past round 10. Um, but yeah, that, that, it's like using the knife as long as you can, because now, look at how far we got with all those points. Mm -hmm. You would not have been able to do this if you were just using the, the 1911, and you would have had to have bought another weapon, because you, you would have had to, you know, it would have not been useful anymore. Um, and you would have ran out of ammo for it. And it's like, because you use the knife, now you can get all the way to power, turn power on, and now you're good to go, and you can go do whatever the hell you need to do else, you know. And it's like, that's all because you were using the knife. Um, so, uh, let us know in those comments down below. Um, if you learned anything, and if you did, what did you learn? And uh, next time on Totally Original Holidays, on this uh, this is Zombies Experience, that's uh, uh, part three, step three. We're moving on to the next one. Which is? Which you guys are going to definitely want to tune in for. Oh because this next one is training and camping. Oh, bull. So, camping? Yeah. Camping yeah. bad. No. <laughs> no. Camping um, camping equals douchebag. So, so uh, you'll definitely want to tune in because it's probably the most important step 
Um, and it'll be the hardest one for you to learn probably, uh, because it's, it's really complicated, but, um, uh, make sure you, you tune in for that also. Okay. And bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Click on the left to see the next video in this series. Once it's uploaded, click on the right to see more videos like this and make sure you subscribe so that you get notified when we upload new videos.